Welcome everyone back to the channel today we got a brand new bo Sit Zombies video for you guys in which today we are going to be showing you how to complete the Citadel de Mors Easter egg. This including everything from sword upgrades, incantation upgrades, and everything of that sort. If you guys are just looking for these sword upgrades we have a video already up on the channel if you guys want to check that out. And if you guys do enjoy this video please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe as we are on the road to 500 subscribers. But let's start out by you needing to get all the way up to the castle and getting to the cannon in which you're going to need to use this crank right here to crank it all the way to facing the cannon door and shooting it. Once you have done that just follow the instructions that, that the game is giving you to get all the way down into this little catacombs area where there is going to be this crate here in which you need to shoot the lots off of it. Once you shoot off the lots of it, a doppelgast is going to end up spawning in. You need to kill this doppelgast. Once you do, it is going to drop this blood ethereum crystal. You need to then take it into that crate and you have now unlocked the patch punch. Once you have unlocked the patch punch, you then need to open the door into the quick revive room. Once you do that, walk up to this little door right here and then you will have craft talk to you. Once craft has talked to you, you need to make your way up to the stamina up room. Once you have done that, you are going to need to look for these pieces of paper right here. There are four pieces of paper you need to collect in which there are going to be nine different spots for you to pick up. These spots will change every game, but you will easily be able to see them once you have taught to craft, as the red outline for these symbols is very easy to see. But once you have collected all four pieces of paper, you are then going to need to acquire the Melee Macchiato perk, in which you are going to need to make your way into the bottom catacomb area here, in which there is going to be this wall that you need to punch, once you have punched it, there is going to be a lot of symbols on this in which you are now going to need to enter a code in which the way you get this code is by going up into the taverns area and interacting with six different jars that are labeled one through six. Make sure you write down the symbols that are on these jars so you can enter the code by going back down into the bottom area and shooting the corresponding symbols in that order of one through six once you have done that there will now be a book that you now are going to have to put the four pieces of paper that you've collected into these are going to correspond to the traps that are around the map with the order that you're going to have to do this is going to be the top left bottom left top right and bottom right one through four once you have found the corresponding trap that matches the symbols on the book you're going to need to activate the trap and get zombie kills. Once you have gotten enough zombie kills and done the right one, your character will give you a quote telling you you've done the right one and also tell you if you've not done the right one. But another way you can check this is by heading back down into the catacombs area and seeing if that symbol is still glowing. If it is, then you still need to find the right corresponding trap. If not, you have done it correctly, you can move on to the next one. But once you have done all four, you will now have a symbol that pops up on this wall right here. This is going to correspond to the four elemental swords, with it going from one to four, in which this is going to be the order in which you guys need to use the incantation and inspect the sword at each of the respective statues for the swords. But to acquire the swords, you are going to need to use the stamps that you acquired from those armored zombies, in which every time you get a stamp, you are going to need to take it to one of the statues. And once you have used four different stamps on the four different statues, you will have all the base swords. Now don't cover how you guys can unlock all these swords, with the first one being the fire sword, in which this is going to be the respective statue that you guys are going to interact with. Once you have the base sword, take it all the way into the the juggernaut room where you will see this dragon statue place the sword inside of this dragon statue and now you will need to make your way around to three different cauldrons around the map with the first one being in the back corner of the spawn room closest to the speed cola side in which once you have interacted with this cauldron you are going to need to run this back to the dragon statue keep in mind when you're running this back that the fire is going to damage you if you need to you can release the fire so you don't go down but once you have ran it all the way back, you are going to make your way to the dead shot side of the map, in which at the bat side closest to the spawn is going to be your second cauldron. Once you have ran that one back, you will then need to make your way up to the cannon closest to the melee macchiato side, in which your final cauldron is going to be in there. Once you have ran back that third cauldron, you will have unlocked the fire sword. And now let's talk about how you guys can unlock the lion sword, or the light sword, in which this is going to be the specific statue for that. Once you have picked up the sword, four parasites are going to spawn within the map. Take these parasites to the speed cola area and then kill one of them. Once you have killed one of these parasites that are glowing, your sword is going to be glowing. You need to take that to this door and hit the door. And once you have hit the door, a symbol is going to spawn 
on that door and now you need to repeat this step with the other three parasites by killing one of them and then hitting the door and then vice versa for all the others once you have done that you are then going to be able to interact with the door and it will then teleport you into this room in which there's going to be a pedestal sitting in the middle of the room in which once you put your sword into it there are going to be symbols flying around the room in which you are going to need to match these symbols that are on the pedestal and shooting the one that is floating around once you have shot all four symbols you have unlocked the lion's sword and now let's talk about how you guys can unlock the lightning sword in which you are now going to need to go to this statue right here and get the base sword for the lightning sword once you have done that you can then you can get three lightning rods with inside of the map with the first one by just killing a zombie and the next one being near the speed cola machine at this electro bots here make sure you guys have dead wire so you can make sure that electro bots drops the lightning rod and your last one being right beside the dead shot machine once you have that you need to make your way over to the base here up on top of the castle near the elemental pop machine this will start an electrical storm make sure you have your sword out and make sure it gets hit by electricity three times and once Every time it's been hit by lightning, hit the vase, and once it, you have done that three consecutive times, you guys will then place your sword inside the vase, and then you will have acquired the lightning sword. And now let's talk about the final sword that you guys can obtain, that being the raven or void sword. In which this is going to be the statue that you guys are going to interact with once you have done that make your way into the room that is right beside there in which you're going to now look on either the bookcase or one of the tables that are inside that room for a bone trophy once you have obtained that bone trophy make your way into the bottom of the tavern in the basement in which there's going to be this dial right here in which you're now going to put in your bone trophy and the sword and enter in a code here is all the possible codes that you guys end up putting into this dial these will correspond to each of their respective bone trophies once you have done that a little void or rift will spawn in on the floor of the basement in which now you're going to lead in three orbs inside this void hole once you have done that you will then make your way up to the second floor that being the base floor of the tavern in which you're going to repeat this step leading three of these orbs into this void circle once you have done that you will then make your way to your final void circle that being on the second floor of the tavern in which you now have to lead your last set of three orbs into that void circle once you have done that you can make your way back to the basement to the room dial that you entered your code interact with this one last time once you have done that you will have your raven sword now that we have covered every sword, now let's talk about every incantation that you are also going to need relating to those swords. With the first one we are going to cover being the light sword, in which you are going to have to shoot crystals that are on top in the night room. With the first one being the one that is at the very top, lining that up with this second one right here. Then moving on to the third one that is above this statue, and then moving into the room right beside it, and shooting that crystal and lining it up. And then lining up the final one to match up with this statue, in which you will get your first amulet and then you're going to take it to this spot right here once you have collected enough zombie souls you then are going to have to grab the light sword and then melee the bots and with that you have unlocked the light incantation next let's talk about the lightning incantation with you needing to go towards the dead shot perk going into this barn here and at this top of the door there is going to be a horseshoe that you are going to need to shoot down once you shoot that down make your way over to the cannon and launch yourself out of the cannon in turn this is also going to be launching the horseshoe out make sure you check the sky around you to see where a little storm has formed once you have found that storm make your way over towards it once you have made your way towards it there are going to be zombies that end up spawning around you protecting the horseshoe that has landed on the ground once you have killed all the zombies pick up the horseshoe and make your way over back to the spawn area towards this wall right here in which this is going to start a little lockdown in which you are going to need to get zombie kills as well once you have gotten enough zombie kills another bots will spawn in which you will need the lightning sword once you have hit the bots with the lightning sword you have unlocked the lightning incantation now let's talk about how you guys can get the fire incantation with you needing molotovs or the upgraded sword with it being fully charged in which with those you are going to need to light three different bonfires around the map with the first one being near the speed total machine up on top of the hill right here which you can easily gain access to it from the top of the castle near the melee macchiato machine by breaking this barrier the second one is right behind the cannon right here and the last one is going to be on the roof above the elemental pop perk machine lighting all three of these will end up spawning some zombies in which you guys are going to need to take them out after you have done that a double down 
guys will end up spawning in which this is going to have the amulet that you guys are going to need once you have that amulet take it all the way down here in which is going to start the lockdown for the fire sword once you have got that done hit the bots with the fire sword and you guys now have your fire incantation and now let's talk about the final incantation you guys can get that being the raven or the void incantation in which to start out with you're going to need to make your way to the pack punch machine and use the fast travel system using the sewers in which right before the end of the fast travel there is going to be a raven at the end of it in which you are going to need to shoot that once you have shot that you're then going to have to look up into the sky and see where that raven is going Make sure you shoot that raven while it is flying as once you have killed that raven it is going to drop the amulet or the ritual item that you need to then take all the way into the bottom area where you punch the wall with the melee macchiato part and there will be a, another circle in which there's going to be the lockdown or the kill step that you guys are going to need to do. Once you have gotten all the kills that you need you are then going to be able to unlock the the void incantation now that we have all the swords and incantations make your way back into the night room and match the swords and the incantations that match the swords with the statues that are respected and do the order in which the wall statue from the previous step that we talked about and shoot the incantation at it and then inspect your sword once you have done that for all four you will now have the mystical orb spawn into the map pick up that orb and now there will be four different locations around the map in which you can place this orb down in which you're going to need to get kills with each of the corresponding elements with the first one we're going to talk about is going to be the light sword in which this is actually going to be in the same room where the orb is make your way up to the top of the stairs and to get this done, you're going to need to stand into these orbs, getting kills with them. Once those disappear, make your way over to a different orb. This step is a little difficult. That's why I like starting out with this one first, as this one does take some trial and error, as it is a little bit difficult to get the kills with inside the orb or making sure you have done it correctly. But once you have done that, you can then do any of the other ones in any order. But the next one that we are going to do specifically is going to be the Raven one, in which you're going to make your way back into the bottom catacomb area, right beside where you did the incantation. Getting kills with both the incantation and the special ability of the sword gives you the ability to fill this orb once you have filled the orb pick it back up and make your way over back into the spawn right beside the electric incantation in which this is going to be for the electric sword in which i would recommend using the electric incantation and the special again for the electric sword that way you can get the kills done for this specific step and finally the last one is going to be the fire sword in which it's going to be right here beside the courtyard in which you're going to be able to get kills with both the fire incantation and the fire sword once you have gotten all four of those done you are going to need to take the orb back to the wall that had the order in which you need the specific inspects for the elemental swords and the statues Place that orb in there and now you will be able to grab this key after this ghost has ended up talking to you. Once you have that key you are now ready to enter the boss fight in which the boss fight arena is going to be back at the spawn. Go up towards this statue and interact with it. Once you have entered the boss fight this is going to be a three phased boss fight in which the boss fight arena is going to get smaller and cause more damage as lava keeps engulfing the boss fight arena with each phase but the boss is extremely easy to take out as it's just doing pure damage to him but make sure every time you break armor on this zombie or statue that you are able to do extra critical damage to the spot that you just broke the armor on but once you have ended up killing him make sure you pick up the amulet that he has dropped once you have picked up the amulet the cutscene will start and you guys have completed the citadel de more easter egg and if this job was helpful for you guys please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe as we got a lot more bo6 zombies content coming out with more easter egg guides as more maps come out as well as finding all these side easter eggs for you guys and giving you a guide on how to do that as there's some free parts free power up easter eggs within this map and as well as we will be doing live streams to help some of you guys complete this easter egg as well so be sure you're subscribed and have notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any of that but if you guys did enjoy please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and i will see you all in the next video peace